Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 6 of V Rally 3. We're in this episode. If you didn't see the end of the last one, uh, I finished my first season. So I have one season raced, four rally, rally victories, and I've driven 102 miles, but it is time for us to resume. And uh, yeah, so if we go over here, we have no contract. First, you must sign a contract. Understandable. So we will head to our emails and check out what we got. Uh, I do not want to renew with MG, so there's their little message if you want to see that again. Uh, you could sign with them if you wanted to, but I have no reason to, from what I know. And so we have either Toyota or Seat. Our team is currently contacting drivers with an eye to collabor an eye to collaboration. I would believe that would be collaborate, maybe? Next season. You are one of the drivers we noticed, and we are happy to offer you a test session with our car. Um, you know what? Sure, I'll do your test session. Um, because I want to do all of them anyways. So, we are going to Germany. Uh, we have asphalt, a little bit of clouds. We have five attempts. Interestingly enough, we'd like you to test your skills behind the wheel. Do a run in less than two minutes and five seconds with the least car damage possible. Ogie. Three. So, yeah, we have the little, uh... European hatchback Corolla here that has been in countless racing games at this point rally games specifically and I get to experience driving a 2.0 liter for the first time and it's really not honestly not super much faster <laughs> I'm already two seconds ahead of my goal I can see how this is going to go already uh, ow! What the hell? Oh, God! Well, it's time to see if I can come back from that, I guess. I guess if you want to see the interior... Huh. There's the interior! I can't really drive with that. Did I say something was broken? I am still ahead. Even with my little oof ouchie that I had there. It is very fitting that we're taking a European car, or European team car, to uh, Germany, by the way. Very nice game. Good job, good job. I like it. Ow. Well, it might not be super easy, because I'm just running into everything, but maybe I'll get good or something. Or maybe I'll still have a skill issue. Or maybe I'll just be another three seconds ahead. That works too, I guess. Ooh, careful. I might actually turn down the steering sensitivity, honestly. I feel like that could actually be legitimately useful. Because, boy howdy, this is very sensitive. Like, it feels like I'm using more of a D-pad when I'm really not. And I have 15 seconds remaining for our little test run here. And I was 10 seconds ahead. Understandable. Well done. You did it. Um, you know what? We'll watch a replay on this, actually. And I'll get a thumbnail. Okay, something like that should work. And we will head back to the office, where we now have a contract offer from Toyota. We'll look at that. But we are going to do the Saab, or Saab, Seat test first in the Cordoba. Our team is currently contacting drivers with an eye to collaboration. You're saying the exact same thing. You're one of the drivers we've noticed, and we are happy to offer you a test session with our car. So yeah, Seat actually does have better stats than Toyota. Toyota is literally crap, and one bar across the board. Um, but yeah, we'll try out Seat real quick. We have two attempts with Seat. Uh, we're going to Africa. Surface Safari. Sure, why not? I can test your skills, uh, do a run in less than 228.10 with the least car damage. Okay. Uh, actually, before we go, uh, steering, I'm going to turn down the steering sensitivity and actually see if it gets any better. Because these 2.0 cars, uh, they're not terrible, but the, the super high uh, steering sensitivity does not help them much at all. That does seem a little bit better already. We have a purple Seat Cordoba. Hell yeah. Oh god. This one might actually be more of a tough one. I guess we'll see. 
just because it's like the team like, oh, you only have two attempts, and also we're cooler because we have better stats than Toyota kind of thing going on. But yeah, we're on the, uh, you know, the safari. Ooh, I can actually see things. Oh, God. Where am I at? <laughs> I don't know where I am. <laughs> All right. I... <laughs> And that's why I don't use interior view on this game. But damn, we're cruising 135 miles per hour? I think there? 134 or 5, one of those two. And I'm already back ahead. Oh, geez. Oh god, off the road. Wow, I was another eight and a half seconds ahead in that one sector. What the hell? How is that even feasible? You know what I said about this possibly being more difficult? Yeah, no, it's really not. Like, the Toyota one was actually more difficult just because it was a harder stage to race on. It was a lot more technical. This is just absolute cake. Ow. I literally went off the track on an adventure into the middle of nowhere. And I'm still over 10 seconds ahead. And overall, 17 seconds ahead. What in the hell? Wow, incredible. Well done. You've done it. Congration, you know, watch a little bit of the replay just to see the outside of the car. Just to show you all a little bit of it. Since I technically did it with the Toyota. Our rally lights are on, interestingly enough. Oh. But I'm not going to actually take a thumbnail photo of this car. So let's head back to the office and we have our two offers for contracts from Toyota and Seat. Not bad for a rookie. If you looked at my stats from last season, your objective will be need will be to be placed in the first 13 next season. We just need your signature if that's okay with you. Yeah, Infogram slash Eden is French, so I'm not surprised that there is some not perfectly understandable English in this game. Uh, <laughs> not bad for a rookie. Your objective will be to be placed in the first 12 next season. Just need your signature. So, yeah, we have Toyota and Seat, and the keen-eyed among you may have realized that I did take thumbnail photos of one of the cars just because I could, and that was a Toyota, so we're going to take the Seat, because I haven't taken a picture of it yet. So, yeah, the Seat Sport, last position was 7th, incredibly enough, what was Toyota's? 8th. Hmm. But yeah, we're going to go ahead with Seat and take a Cordoba for our next season here. And we get our little animation thing here. We can look at our car data. 300 horsepower. Let's go. Four cylinders, 16 valves. I have one of those. And I have turbocharger as well. It, but it's a 2.2 liter, not 2 liter. Sequential, of course. And it's all the same as the MG. Uh, the brakes, pretty decent. Pretty decent. I like how the rear brakes don't change in size between asphalt and gravel, but the front brakes do. Interesting. And our dimensions, a little bit heavier, 1,230 kilograms. We'll have a look at our team. So, Seat Sport is doing meh, but better than any other team I've seen so far. And our last ranking was 7th out of, or their last ranking was 7 out of 8, because I didn't race with them last season. And the drivers are... Kori Kayo Kurikio Ishiyama. Sure. We'll we'll say that's might be right pronunciation. And then of course me as well. And you have to finish in the first 12. Usually it's the top 12. But you know what? Again, Eden Games, French company, they're perfectly fine. It's understandable. But there we go, we have 
Germany, Finland, Africa, France, England, and Sweden. We have six rallies this time around because we do our, we are in the 2.0 league now, uh, and, and they had six rallies uh, last season too. So yeah, we will go ahead and continue on. We have a few more emails. At last word, Leah had confirmed this advancement in the 2.0 liter category. However, Tess Driv will be donning another team's racing suit for her debut in the big league. And then from Eurosport, who are this year's drivers with the talent to shoot to the top? Looks like this season is going to be fascinating, but very indecisive. Sure, why not? Um, all right, so yeah, there we go. We have to finish in the first 12. And now our team has changed and we can rally, but that is going to start in the next episode. Uh, I still don't think there's anything, yeah. I don't know what the records is. It might be do something to do with the, uh, the time attack mode or something. But anyways, that is going to conclude this episode. Thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode.